hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the one of the important topic that is the load angle or torque angle so this is this is very useful to understand the three phase induction motor and it is very under, it is useful to understand the the relation between the uh, flux stator flux and rotor flux first what is the load angle first the definition of the load angle is we can write here the angle between the angle between stator rmf and rotor rmf is known as is known as load angle is known as load angle so generally you know the what is stator rmf the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator is known as the stator rmf what is rotor rmf rotor rmf is nothing but the rotating magnetic field of the rotor this has some angle that is known as the load angle or another name is the torque angle why it is called torque angle so the relation between the stator rmf and rotor rmf will give, will produce the torque that's why it is called a torque angle just look at here for the motor first and we have different different load angles different load angles for the motor and generator so in case our induction motor just look at here this state for example just assume this is the stator axis that means stator axis means stator rmf axis stator rotating magnetic field axis so with this it will rotate with the synchronous speed it will rotate with the synchronous speed in this direction so in this direction okay and after the load angle after the lagging the but rotor is nothing but rotor axis that means rotor rmf the rotor rmf lags lags by the stator axis with angle del with angle del this angle del is nothing but the load angle then del is nothing but the load angle symbol so like this and you know that rotor rmf also rotate with the synchronous speed only rotate with the synchronous speed only and both are rotates with the synchronous speed but these rmfs are displaced by some angle the displaced some angle is known as the load angle is known as the load angle then it will develop a torque that is the electromagnetic torque the torque will try to the torque will try to uh, uh, tor torque will try to coincide the stator and rotor axis that means try to improve the it try to improve the speed and um, it's try to combine with the stator axis combine with the stator axis stator axis is nothing but the stator rmf and here the rotor axis is nothing but the rotor rmf these two are combined together and is try to like this what about generator just look at here the generator here the generator is there for the generator is reverse generator initially the rotor axis we have the movable so just the thing rotor is moving rotor axis nothing but this is the rotor rmf okay that will rotate with the synchronous speed with this direction and after load angle stator that means field that is nothing but stator rmf after that it will produce the stator rotating magnetic field so it will try to rotate with the speed synchronous speed and here now rotor is movable axis so the torque will be developed the developed torque will try to coincide with the coincide with the stator axis stator and rotor axis so in this case it rotor axis is lagging in this case rotor axis is leading why here the supply is given to the stator axis that's why it is the leading position but here in case of rotor initially the mechanical power is applied to the rotor in case of the generator that's why it is in, it is in the rotor axis in the leading position okay both will be same direction but 
this tri this torque will be working on the same position and this torque will try to work in the opposite position so this is the load angle or torque angle of the induction motor okay so we will discuss some points here the basic property of the rotor axis is that always develop a torque so rotor the torque is developed on rotor axis why you know the rotor itself it rotates itself it rotates. that will be that means the torque will be applied on here so as it align itself with the stator axis so it's try to align try to align itself with the stator axis next in generating mode so generally in generating mode the electromagnetic torque here the developer torque is electromagnetic torque opposite to the rotor axis so look at here so in the generating mode this is this torque is electromagnetic torque opposite to the rotor axis rotor axis in this direction but electromagnetic torque in reverse direction so opposite to the rotor axis in this mode rotor axis lead the stator axis just look at here here we have the rotor axis that will be lead the stator axis that means rotor axis in starting initially started right so in motoring mode the electromagnetic torque develop same as the rotor axis direction just look at here here motoring mode so this is the rotor axis direction is like this the electromagnetic torque this is the electromagnetic torque both will be in the same direction both will be in the same direction so in this mode the stator axis lead the rotor axis that's why just look at here the stator axis just observe the stator axis here the stator axis is the leading so it will be top position and it will be lagging down position it will be down position here the reason is the simple the input supply is given startingly to the stator axis in the motor for the generator the supply is given to the rotor axis okay this is about the motor and generator for the motor and generator load angles okay next we should discuss the phasor diagram of the three phase induction motor here in the three phase induction motor generally the supply is given to the three phase stator three phase stator and rotor wheel rotor wheel rotates you know that supply will given the rotor will getting the rotation so by using that concept we will draw the phasor diagram just first the supply v is so i will i will write a small diagram here then it will be very easy so the diagram is the initially giving the supply that supply will produce same as the same as the transformers so this is the stator axis stator winding next it will develop the rotor and the rotor will be shorted rotor will be shorted okay like that so initial so this is a supply to the this and this is the emf developed on the stator and this is the emf developed on the rotor so by using that concept just i am writing here first we will give the supply voltage supply voltage in this position and this will be v so the supply voltage always having the flux with 90 degrees that flux is the flux will produced with 90 degrees and you know that this is the flux and always it produce the magnetizing current i mu in the flux so this current will entering into the no load branch is i mu and we have another branch that is the core load uh, loss core loss component ic the combination of this we will get the i not the combination of get we will get the i not so the combining together we will get the no load current i not the no load current i not okay right next the voltage developed on the secondary side 
the voltage developed on the secondary side is like this the voltage is we can take the stator voltage for phase is this value because both are in opposite this supply voltage this is the stator voltage for phase dotor voltage also same but it has some delay decrement rotor for phase voltage rotor for phase voltage and the rotor have some resistance so that's why it will depends on the load also so it will generate some current i2 it will generate some current i2 okay because if you connect to the load it will have some current that current will be produced in this you can take it as the i2 so i2 has the load it has some power factor 5 power factor 5 okay so this current the, this current direction only we can name it as the rotor axis the current developed on this is known as the rotor axis so rotor rmf also in the same direction rotor rmf you can name it as phi 2 it is also in the same direction rotor rmf this is rotates with the speed of the synchronous speed this is rotate with the speed of the synchronous speed okay so this is the angle between the voltage and current you know that phi naught this is the no load power factor angle this is the no load power factor angle and this is the angle between the this is the angle between the we can name it as this is stator rmf we can name it as the stator rmf why this flux is produced by the stator flux only flux is produced by the stator flux only okay so we can give some relation so now what is the load angle load angle is between the stator rmf and the this is the rotor rmf so we can write the load angle value directly here that is the load angle equal to 90 plus phi is there this is for the induction motor this is for the three phase induction motor if if this the load angle will be some minus we will get some minus here that is 90 minus phi this is for the induction generator if we are using the induction generator okay yeah so this is the very important of the three phase induction motor phaser diagram okay so this is about the the concept of load angle and this is about the phaser diagram of the three phase induction motor and we will draw the another phaser equivalent phaser diagram in the induction motor after completion of the all the elements of the induction motor okay i hope all of you understand the session Thank you.